In this video, I'm going to show how to use the calling card feature in Google Dialer app on any Android. It's a feature similar to Apple's contact poster which shows a full screen picture of the caller in an aesthetic way. Let's see how to get it first. Now, you must need the latest version of Phone by Google app on your phone. Here's the version number I have on my phone. It's version 188.0 that ends with 6580. So you must have the phone app on this version. You also need to update your contacts app to the latest version. I'm currently using the version 4.61.28 ending with 9534. Next, just launch the contacts app and select a contact. You should see this card that says try adding a calling card. Tap it. Now here's the preview. You can take a photo from camera or choose one from gallery or Google photos. I'm gonna choose from gallery. Just pick an image. You can also crop the image according to your preference and you can also choose a font from the available options. These fonts you see here are variants of Google Sans font. We have regular, heavy, thin, condensed, rounded, italic, you name it. You can change the color of the font from given options just like you can do on iOS. I'm gonna go with this one. Tap done and that's it. Now you can also use it as a contact picture. I'm gonna skip it for now. If you tap it once more you can select a monogram the first letter of the contact just like on iOS. You can change the color of it. You can change the font. You can even use an emoji and you can turn it into a monochrome emoji. I think it's a very nice addition. A lot of people on the internet saying that they do not like the new UI and the new features but I'm really glad that finally Google changed the dialer UI. Now we got one more option that they don't have on iOS is the illustration. Here are some beautiful illustrations that you can set as your calling card. I'm gonna go to this recreational activity section. There are some very nice illustration to choose from. So I was talking about this new feature and that I find it really cool. Share your thoughts in the comments about this feature. Do you like it too or you like the old UI better? And subscribe to TechEye for more of such content and I'd really appreciate your feedback and suggestions. Signing off. Peace.